Hello, everybody. Welcome back to RimWorld. Look who we have here. Tiffy. The three-year-old that survived the fire in the old colony, where she lost all of her friends, her family, her base, her life, everything. She was, took, she was taken in by a couple of uh, visitors, travelers wandering through. And once she was old enough, she decided to move on and do her own thing. And now here she is, a nomad of the rim, constantly moving every few weeks or so, and settling in and then continuing on, searching for whatever she wants to search for, I guess. Um, yeah, Tiffy has dropped cannibalism entirely and is now a nomad. Deciding to wander across the lands, doing whatever. How's it going, everyone? Um, yeah, so I decided to create a new uh, like kind of playthrough. I didn't know really what to do after we lost the previous place. But since Tiffy was still alive, I decided to kind of... And make my own kind of story or whatever. And I, I that intro was probably cringy. It, it was probably, yeah, I'm not very good at storytelling. I didn't really know where I was going with that. I just hit the record button and just started just saying some things. Yeah, that's that's what I was doing. Um, yeah, I decided to try to make a kind of a cinematic, sad whatever the hell that was at the beginning of the video i don't know i thought it was pretty cool something that i've never done before but yeah here's tiffy i have done i've made her have the same name i've had her i have her the same skin tone the same jawline everything she's just got a face tattoo under her eyes from traveling across the lands um, her skills are kind of just basic, obviously. She was her childhood. She was an abandoned child. Um, since the colony burnt down, she was pretty much abandoned. And then the adulthood, she is a drifter, and so she traveled often, taking up casual work wherever she found it. And then she, I guess, she also occasionally worked on a novel that she knew would be a bestseller. Yep. So, she is cold inclined from staying out in the nights in the wilderness all the time. And she is also too smart because she came from... I don't really know who her parents were, but our whole colony was very intellectual. So, they were very smart people. So, I decided that she will have too smart trait. She has also got... A burn scar from the fire on her left shoulder when she was three years old and it's you know it's obviously still there and then she's also got a frostbite scar on her left middle toe from staying out in the cold in the wilderness so yeah this is the new map this is where we're gonna be for a little bit until we decide to move on um, so with the new ideology we're the traveling creed and uh yeah we're nomads so we don't like to make a permanent base we like to travel obviously but uh yeah so here's the mood so if we've traveled less than five days ago it's plus 30 mood and then we got up to 60 days it seems like to stay in a certain spot and then move on uh, rough living is welcomed in ranching nomadic. If you go down, we've got the rolls, obviously. We've got all the buildings. We've got the relics. And I set the horse as a venerated animal. And I actually just seen some horses up here. Now, if we can get a horse before we leave and set off on another track or trek, I get, yeah. That would be great. That would be awesome. And then we would have a venerated animal. And uh, I do like this area right now. It's kind of... I, I, I enjoy it. Where's this mad rat? 
Where is this thing? Let's jump to look. Oh, it's way up. It's a squirrel. Um, but yeah, I do like this area because we could just build a wall right here and then everyone would have to go all the way around here and we can make a kill box or something like that. I mean, we don't have to go too crazy because obviously we're going to be moving on. So I don't want to make any giant base. But if we're going to be for here for 60 days, 60 days is a long time in RimWorld. At least I think it is. And so, uh, yeah, it, I, I think we can get a little... A, a decent base get some research going and blah 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 also i have new mods for the series now if you want to check them out uh there will be a probably two links in the description uh one for all of the vanilla expanded mods there's a collection for it just download it and then there's a few mods that won't when you're in the mod loader or whatever it is in RimWorld, when you're in there, there'll be a few mods that are highlighted red because they're not updated to 1.4. I'm not using those, obviously, uh, but I'm using all of the other vanilla expanded. And then I also have a collection that I have created of mods that are not the vanilla expanded. And so you guys can go in there and subscribe to all and you could play with all of the mods that I am using now. I've got dragons, I've got magic. The magic seemed to be working fine when I did a test. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that stupid little notification at the beginning. But uh, yeah, we got magic. We got still the dinosaurs. We've got dragons. What else did I add? I added a few more just to obviously a whole bunch of the vanilla so there's tons of things in here but yeah over the last 17 years the rim has gone uh, you know there's dragons now all of a sudden dragons showed up and there's magic people are coming out of hiding and they're wizards and mages and so yeah we'll see how this goes i i'm excited to start a new one uh, yeah, it sucked losing the last one. That that was pretty bad. But yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoy this. And uh, we will continue the story on with Tiffy and see where it goes. We need to get rid of this uh, mad squirrel. Um, and Tiffy is equipped with two crossbows. Uh, she... Oh, we'll say that she made them. She made them on the road and they're double crossbows so it shoots two arrows at the same time we'll take out this squirrel hopefully damn that that was not good that was not good at all good job good job tiffy we need to build that fence again and so obviously we've got our dromedary here havoc so that's that's good we've got havoc here if he's now hurt i don't think you're too bad nope all right let the adventure begin we're starting off uh right away on getting raided all right i'm gonna set a porch there i'm building a little kind of uh you know a dining room area where's this raid coming from though they're attacking immediately it's not someone that's like too bad too bad there's also these two here so hopefully they will uh take out the raider i hope so seems like the raider's coming a coming an attack and oh kind of went off i guess uh, i did build a door right here so they're gonna have to go all the way around and hopefully actually we can build a where is security? There's so many tabs now that there's so many buildables. Um, we'll just build we'll build a couple of those and we'll have Tiffy come and build those real quick. Well, Tiffy, you need to go and build that or something, please. I would, I would really like that. So you got plenty of time, I think. Where is that person? Oh, they're coming down to the door. They might break it down, to be honest. Yeah, it seems like they're going to come and break that door. Some more spaceship. Oh, no, they're attacking this person. We'll see how this goes. How's the fight going? Oh, 
they're down. Tiffy, Tiffy, you know what to do, right? When you are you gonna bleed out anytime soon? Maybe not. But if we can get someone right away, that'd be kind of cool. Um, if we could build a, let's see, where where what am I looking for? A sleeping spot right here. Point, and we'll do. Uh, nope. For prisoners, there we go. Tiffy, can you go and capture them, please? Would like that. Because, uh, yeah, if we can get someone else to help out a little bit, especially if for, like, medical, since there's no self-tending, it's going to be an issue. If Tiffy gets hurt, it's not going to be great. And so we're going to have to try to ha hopefully get someone as soon as possible so then we can um, heal that would be kind of nice. Tiffy's building the traps at the moment. Um, so much for building that. I mean, you know, whatever that it was. The dining room. It's fine. So we have successfully converted D Doris. Go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Pause. Doris Goss. Doris Goss. Yeah, I think that's that. I, that's that's the way I'm going to pronounce it. Okay, so we're just going to stick with it. So we've su successfully converted her, him, that's a, that's a him, um, to our traveling creed. So that is good. And now I'm going to start recruiting as well. So we can get a little bit of help. I've got a lot of tasks around here that I'm trying to get done. And I can't really get it done. And is your cooking skill any better? No, your cooking skill is not good at all. Um, oh, well. Uh, but as long as I have some other people around to help out. I've, I've been waiting for these uh, stone chunks to be moved over to the zone for a while now. But it's just there's so much to do with one person but i mean that's just what we have to deal with tiffy's tiffy's a nomad out here all alone she's, she's got a busy life you know that's just that's just what that, that's just what how it is all right that's all right shut up i need to shut up thank you all right yeah good yeah no jeez I, I, okay Thanks. They're going to prepare for a while. It's only one. So it's not bad. Not bad at all. Prepare for a while. And I'm hoping that they just go across this way. And not go straight for the door. But who knows? I don't know what... I still don't know the AI pathing and how it works. So hopefully... The door is just enough. To be able to... Make that guy go the other way. Um, so yeah, what we're doing right now is um, kind of just building. I was building a few, uh, you know, I'm cooking a few meals with the rice that I have here. But I honestly might suspend it for just a little bit. I need to get the research done. I'm researching packaged survival meals. So then we're making those instead of regular simple meals. So that way when we go to travel, they won't um, spoil. And that will be nice. I can also research pemmican if I really wanted to. It's, where is it? Right there. It's still the same, like, I don't know what you need to make the package meals. I don't remember. But I I think we'll be okay. If I can get that done, though, that'd be great. And then we can start preparing for our move and decide where we want to go. I don't know where we want to go. Before this guy comes and attack, I am going to show off the map. I mean, I don't really have to, but I decided to load it 100% instead of the normal 50% that it does. And so now we've got this whole world to explore, which is great. Since we're a nomad, we can end up all the way in the North Pole if we wanted to in Busto Field. <laughs> yeah, Mount Purple. Uh, so we'll see where our adventures lead us. I feel like you can also cheese it if you wanted to. You know, just travel away from the, where you are now. 
travel, forget about the place, and then stay here for a little bit, then go back to this place. I feel like that it would still uh, work. I don't know for sure, but I don't want to do that. We're not going to do that. We're going to play it the way that we should. As a nomad, travel, trap, travel, travel the world and explore, see what we can, what kind of troubles we can get into. Because we can, we can get into a lot in RimWorld. All right, so this guy's coming up here. So he did go all the way around instead of going straight for the door, which is great for us. Now I just got to have Tiffy get ready and get that, that crossbow. Crossbow's got a decent range, to be honest. That's that's not bad. Um, and we'll have we'll have Tiffy take him out. Hopefully, they'll hit the trap. I, I don't know for sure, but I hope so. Nice, they hit it. Oh, they're going to hit the other one. Oh, all right, good job, Tiffy. In eight hours. Uh, let's see. I'm going to build a copy. I'm going to build a few, to be honest. And we're going to have Tiffy capture them as well. Don't know if I really want them in the uh, colony. They are a waster, so they're going to have to have some flake or yayo, which that's not ideal for us. But we'll see. We could just have a slave out of them, to be honest. So we'll see how that goes, if we can get them healed up in time, which Tiffy's on it right now, so that's not bad at all. Good job, Tiffy, doing your job. Two uh, caravan... What are they? What? I could... Dr dromedaries? Yeah. I said that name before, but they uh, roamed in. And uh, if we could tame them, that would be amazing. And so I'm going to start taming. Tiffy's uh, animals are not the greatest, so they're not going to be able to... It's going to take a few attempts. But if we can get them, that would be great. That'll help us out a bunch when we decide to move and start our own caravan. Especially since they have the packs on them as well. Which I don't know how you get that, to be honest. I, I think it's just because I think they just spawn when you uh, load in items. I think that's how it works. But if we can get them, that would be great. All right, we're getting raided uh, again. This is the third raid so far. And I don't think we've been here very long. So that's fun. But that's that's all right. It's just another knife person. I don't know if they're attacking right away. I didn't pay attention. Their mining is super good. Their melee is good. Their construction is also decent. Animals is really good. That would be nice to have. And shooting as well. Um, so, yeah. We, 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 might, we might capture this person if they don't die completely. That'll be that'll be good for us. I feel like that person's better than having Doris Goss here. I mean, they do have a burning passion for crafting and mining, and then a slight burning passion for uh, the melee and other stuff like that. So they're not horrible. A crafter would be nice, being able to craft a little bit and their skills go up a little bit more. That'd be nice. Um, hunting party. They're passing right next to that. Oh man, they're just, they're just slaughtering everything. They're killing all my horses. As long as they don't kill my dromedaries, then I'm fine. Hopefully this guy goes, well, I actually, hopefully not. I don't want them to attack the hunters, which I think he might. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, damn, he actually killed one. And then they also have revenge. Oh, jeez, there's three of them. I hope they could take them out before they all die, because if they all die, then I, I can't afford to fight giant dinosaurs, to be honest. Oh, they killed that guy. Uh, that's a bio-coded. I'll allow that. Not bad. I don't think they're going to claim this, so I'm going to claim that as well. 
And when this one dies, I'll claim it as well. And then we'll be able to have two dinosaurs and we'll be able to butcher them and have a whole bunch of meat, which will be great for us. They didn't kill the dromedaries. I think they killed all the horses, though, sadly. I wish that didn't happen. But oh well. I guess it's just part of the game. Uh, yeah, I don't see any more horses anywhere. Oh, there... Wait. No, that's an alpaca. Uh, yeah. We're... Since we're incompetent cooks, our cooking skill is very low. We keep making horrible food that is just giving everyone food poisoning, which is great. Super, super good. Uh, what was that? I seen something pop up. What was that message? I did not read it. Oh, yeah. So the will has been broken. I'm enslaving Wrecker here. Yeah. Yep, that's what that's what I'm doing. And then hopefully we can force them to uh, do some work for us. So I would like I would like that. Tiffy is now ha has a mood debuff. I just noticed this um, for not traveling. So I think we're gonna stay just a little bit longer, and we're going to. Hopefully, recruit Doris Goss here so we can have a little bit of help when we go. Can you tend to them, please? No, please feed. They need some food first. Um, and then we'll, I guess, move. Uh, take some of the things with us. I don't know what. Maybe our, our stove. I don't know exactly how much this dromedary can uh, carry. Does it tell you? Uh, no, it doesn't really. I can't see where it tells you where the uh, how much they can carry. Uh, 158. It's not, not horrible. So I don't know exactly how much the dromedaries that were up here, the caravan ones. They, they ended up leaving. They left the area. Sadly, that's fine. It's fine. There's a, a pearl. Oh, all the way up here. I don't need to go all the way up there. So that's just going to sit up there and rot away. Yeah, it's going to be slow at the beginning. And I feel like it's going to be slow a lot of the times. I don't really know exactly. I've never really constantly, like, moved. And, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Just, I mean, we're not going to be staying here. So now Wrecker is a slave. So they're, they're taking all of my clothes. I... You do not need to have all this clothes. A slave. So you are not allowed to have... I don't know what you're allowed to have or not. Um, thank you. Thank you for putting all of that back. Oh, you're just naked now, huh? Yeah, you're just naked now. Well, you don't have a bed, do you? We'll make a copy of this over here. And this will be your bed for the moment. Hopefully you can get some things done for me. And hopefully we can get Doris Goss here recruited. And that will be great for us. That will be awesome. Uh, yeah, and also I want to say thank you for everyone that has been watching. Or at least new people as well. Uh, commenting all the nice things that they are that I see. It's been it's been nice. Can't help but smile. Makes my day. Just looking at a comment all of a sudden saying that I they enjoy my videos and um, keep it up and expecting me to blow up. I doubt it, but I do appreciate it. It's 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 very nice to see. So I, I just want to say thank you. I say it in most of my videos. Thank you. But I, I just, it's just mind blowing to have an actual like people watch my videos yeah, again. Like I said at the beginning, or I guess I say it all the time from someone that created a YouTube channel just to post random videos for friends to kind of share and just mess around and then all of a sudden create a RimWorld one and I, I start gaining attention from a few people and they stick around and watch my videos. It's been great. It's amazing. Didn't expect it to happen at all. So I just want to say thank you. So we've got more apparel. 
I'll take it. It's not very far away. Um, and we've got a good old, good old caravan. I think it's a combat supplier. Yep. See what they have to offer. I hope something good, but I don't have a lot of money. That's the problem. So it's not like it's going to help. We'll take, we'll just sell those. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. It, it, I haven't picked up my money that's been on the ground over there. So it's. I'm just gonna accept that for right now. I need this. That's what I need. Haul urgently. Haul urgently. Thank you. I guess haul urgently the wood as well. It's just outside. Um, work. I need to set this up as well. I need to set you to clean and haul. You could do all of that. You're not going to be here for very long, I feel like. So, I'm not expecting. So, suppression fall rate, 20% per day. 1.9 years to for rebellion interval. Wow. Not bad. Uh, what's your will? Is that what it is? Resistance. 3.2. It's going slow, but it's all right. Tiffy has a eh, social skill, but also has a passion for it, I think. Um, 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 let's see. Yep, has a slight burning passion. Is that what it is? All right. I think I'm going to call it there. I think it's a pretty decent uh, stopping point. I mean, not a whole lot happened, but I mean, it's just the beginning of the RimWorld series, the Nomads. So... Yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty cool adventure here. Continuing on with Tiffy, seeing where Tiffy's story continues on after the giant fire catastrophe thing that happened and losing all of her family and friends. And uh, yeah, so now she's just a traveling nomad. And hopefully it'll be entertaining. For you guys, I'll try to make it as entertaining as possible. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I really appreciate it. If you would leave a like and subscribe if you want to, that's fine. I don't care. If you do, though, I, I will love you. Okay? All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. What the hell was that?